Hey there, Porsche peeps. As everybody from 100% Porsche Drive Days, um, just come into my local dealership, Porsche Centre Perth, and um, we've got this uh, stunning, beautiful black GT4 that's just arrived, and um, with some quite a few tasty options. So I just thought I'd clip the camera and let's have a look at it and, and uh, get some thoughts and feelings, eh? So starting from the back of the vehicle here, you can see the uh, the absolutely stunning um, dual exhaust pipes. I've had a really close look at those. And if you have a look, they look very industrial, and that's one thing I love about that. Um, just a really sort of stunning looking, tough exhaust pipe, but I'm sure they make a damn good sound. And then it's all um, sort of wrapped up in this beautiful aero over here with this, um, with this lovely uh, diffuser down the bottom. All looks very, very tough. Moving up, uh, you can see the, uh, the particular logo there is in satin black. And then the wing, it's actually... Uh, Pretty impressive. I, I found that with the Series 1 GT3, that I, I've got a 901 Series GT3, I prefer the wing, wing on that to the Series 2 GT3. Um, it just looks a little bit more sort of like fluid, but this one here, which is essentially a Series 2 GT4, even though it is a, a 718, the wing just looks a lot more purposeful and organic. So moving around here, obviously you've got the big 20 inch. Uh, new style GD4 rims which look bloody great and I think that's in a satin finish as well which is an option um, moving around here we'll just uh, open the door here and have a quick look inside and there is just an absolutely beautiful interior starting on the doors you got obviously the rope door pills personally I would have gone for black on these because they'll end up looking a bit dirty um, but that's my personal opinion but it does match the stitching along here um, We've got the standard door sills and the standard seats as well. But again, that's got the stitching there um, with the GD4 logo in the same colour scheme. What also I like about this is, um, is the centre console here, particularly the button section here, is an exact copy of what I've got in my GD3. So it's almost identical except for the little auto blip button there, which you can turn off. I'd have that off, I reckon, for most of the time. I love to sort of do that myself. but. Um, but that's for personal preference. I guess you could put it on if you're, if you're feeling lazy. Beautiful stumpy little gear stick there. This particular car's got the carbon fibre interior as well. And we'll just pop around the corner and have a look at the other, uh, the other highlights in a minute. But uh, it's got the red uh, instrument panels as well. So moving around here, we've got um, the front of the car. You can see some of the aero on the side there. The car looks very purposeful. It's an absolutely beautiful vehicle, this one. I love the light treatment too. This uh, surprisingly doesn't have the darkened lights. I think it would look better with the darkened lights, but that's again, just my personal opinion. And the front of the car just looks tough as nails. Have a look at that. Look at the deep lip there. The big deep lip spoiler at the front. Coming back there, obviously with the Xenon lights, you've got the, uh, the, the, uh, the light washers as well. But just having a look at the car in general from the back. How good is that? Coming in on the other side here. By the way, we're looking at the side of the car there, not the back of the car <laughs> from before. Um, so here you can see it's got the red, uh, the red dials. I'm not a huge fan of red dials. I prefer it maybe to be white, but this is an option that's been put in the car. Um, it doesn't look terrible, but that's just my personal opinion. And uh, just looking around at the, uh, you know, it's it's just pure Cayman. This it is really. A beautiful cockpit. You could just sit in here for hours just having a lot of fun with this car. Um, we've got one coming tomorrow on a drive. I've got a drive organised tomorrow. We've got a few people going for a lunch and we have a black GT4 coming with us. So I'm really looking forward to sitting behind that in front of it. I'll get a bit of a video of that car and hopefully have a bit of a listen. Let's just go to the, to the full rear of the vehicle and just have a look from a distance. I mean the, the silhouette there with a the spider in the uh, in the background. You got a 992. That's a Carrera T over there actually uh, on the right hand side. But uh, all up, this is just an absolutely beautiful vehicle. Uh, you know, I think they're fantastic value pound for pound for what you get for your money. I'll just read out the options list on this baby. So this particular car has 20 inch. Platinum satinum rims, logo in satin black, we mentioned that. It's got sports chrono with a lap timer, carbon interior package, uh, two-way sports seats, 
Um, passage of footwell storage, well, that's not much. And then the uh, instrument's in red. So it's not, not a huge amount of options, but enough there to just make the car interesting. So, um, yeah, it's uh, something you wouldn't might want to consider. So there you have it. The uh, 718 GD4 in black. Looks tough, is tough. Um, you know, I just can't wait to see that on the road tomorrow and to listen to the noise. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and, um, you know, go Porsche.